Okay, here is a full review of the Schlage Encode Plus. This has the Apple's home key feature where if you hold your, like let's say Apple Watch up to the uh, lock, then it will unlock and lock just with using the key feature on your watch. It also has a keypad that will light up when you start touching it. So I've got a demo code, five, 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 five. And it will also unlock and lock the door. And I also have an automation that will turn on and off my garage lights depending on if the door is locked or not. So if it's unlocked, you can just click this lock button and just give it a good push and it will lock the door. And it gives you the check mark saying that yes, it did get locked. And then you can put in the code and it will unlock. There is also a physical key switch right here or a key lock right here. So if for some reason the battery dies completely and you just wanna have a backup, you can have a physical key that goes there. You can type in the code and you can use your watch or you can even use Siri if you really want. So one thing to note about Siri, if you're concerned about someone just yelling to your HomePod devices, uh, the HomePods will not open locks or even garage doors uh, just through Siri. You have to authenticate it with your personal device, like your phone. You can tell your phone uh, or with Siri and it will unlock it because it's authenticated as long as your phone is unlocked. So this device takes four AA batteries and you can access them from the back. There's just a cover right there. This section pops out and you can replace the batteries. For me, the batteries have been very good and long lasting. Last time I checked it, it was at 95% and it's been over a month since I've owned this. So this thing will definitely last over a year and it does work just as a regular lock. You can lock it and unlock it at will just as you're inside. One thing I like about this also is the setup process. It's got an NFC tag inside it. So when you're setting it up, you don't need to even scan the code. All you have to do is hold your phone next to it and it will uh, connect it. So I don't know if there's anything else you really wanna know. It's, it's the best smart lock for an Apple uh, ecosystem user. So if you like having uh, the home key feature where even your Apple Watch or just your phone can be your key. I love that feature. I don't have to take keys with me anymore because I can just uh, put my phone up to it. And what's really cool is if your battery even dies on your phone, you have about 10 hours from when the battery dies or, you know, dies, then you can still unlock the lock because the battery isn't fully dead on iPhone. It just goes into super hibernation mode. So yeah, it's really good. You can share passwords. Uh, you can have a guest in your home. So let's say each family member has a different lock, a different code so that they can unlock your lock and you know who unlocked it. Um, it works great with automations and overall a very good product. So the way how I bought this, cause right now, they are super back ordered. So I went to build with Ferguson and they allowed me to actually put in an order. And once it was made, then they shipped it. I did wait about 100 days from ordering it uh, for it to come, but it's better than Home Depot or uh, Lowe's where they just put you on a waiting list and you don't even get to order it until they become available. And I still haven't even heard uh, gotten that email yet saying that they're available. So yeah, it seems like you might be able to uh, wait it out if you know you don't need it right away. But I was glad that I was able to actually put in my order and I got one from my front and the back door. So I am fully covered. Uh, would I recommend one of these? So you can buy a Schlage lock that has the keypad, has everything home kit except doesn't have the home key. And now that I've actually used home key, I would use it for the back door, but not my front door. So if I had to do it all over again, I would just get one with home key and one with not to save some money. And that is because my front door has a screen, a window screen on it that you also have to open. And the door is pretty close into the wall where I, if I'm gonna use my watch, I have to hold my arm at like a weird angle 
to unlock the door. So most of the time I just end up typing in the password. Uh, a couple times I've held my phone up to it, but most of the time I just type in the password or I have certain automations that depending on certain circumstances, when I get home, then it will unlock the door for me because it will know that I'm there instead of someone else. So overall, I would recommend this product. Do you need home key? No, but if you have the money for it and you really like Apple technology and everyone in your home uses iPhones and everything like that, it works really well. Uh, can your kids have it if they just have a uh, Apple Watch, you know, with the family plan uh, that does require a cellular watch? But yes, you can give out home keys to your kids now. With iOS 16, they did update that feature where it will, uh, they can have their own keys. But even if you don't want to give them their own Apple Watches and keys for that, just give them a password, you know, a nice simple password that they can remember and they can type it in and come in and out. So, anything else you want to know about the, uh, smart, the smart lock? Just put it in the comments and let me know. I hope this has been very helpful to you. Uh, install was super easy and it's worked like a charm and I've had very little problem with it. Actually, zero problem with this one. Uh, one of mine uh, on the front door actually did jam where the lock actually would lock and then jam shut where this part wouldn't even come out. Um, I took the whole thing apart, put some WD-40 in there and just opening, locked and unlocked and got it unjammed and it's worked like a champ ever since. So yeah, what I love about the battery feature on this is you don't have to take it off and plug it in or anything. It's just AA batteries. Everyone's got AA batteries and the batteries, look they last a long time. I'm not gonna even, I never am worried about this. And what's great about this, it also works over thread. So if you've got HomePod minis, they will work not only over Bluetooth, but Thread, which is a better protocol, and the HomePod Minis have a Thread router inside them. So, very fast, I've had no issue with it, and I love it so much. So, again, if you have any questions, let me know. This is iGadget, and I'll see you in the next video.